We're a couple of weeks into 2021. Now, it's either been going great for you so far or it hasn't been going too well. Regardless, we're a few weeks in and safe to say there's what, 335, 340 plus days left. So guys, if it hasn't gone great, please bear in mind that you've got the rest of the year to rectify things. You've been learning and every single frustration that you've been going through is ultimately aligned with your vision in terms of making you a smarter, wiser entrepreneur. So you've only just been given feedback so far as what to do more of and what to do less of or what to keep doing, all right? So don't sweat it. And in the grand scheme of business, you'll realize that one year is such a small amount of time. And I think that one of the big challenges with fitness entrepreneurs is that they look at a week or they look at a month uh, or even a year as such a long period of time in business. Guys, try looking at 20 years in business. Try looking at 15 years in business. Try looking at six months instead of one month. Try looking at 54 weeks instead of one week. So you gotta realize that you've always gotta get the big picture. And when you zoom out and you get the big picture on what you're doing inside your business, then you're able to like calm yourself down and get perspective and realize it's all about the journey, not actually the just specific period of time. So anyway, I, decided to call this show uh, Listen to This or Retire. Quite a potent name, uh, but there's a couple of really important points that I want to share here that I think are super valuable. Now, guys, just a reminder, we're into January. Shameless plug. If you haven't got a hold of Mission Ready already, go to my website, go and grab it. If you don't plan the year, it's going to turn to chaos. The feedback so far has been unbelievable. And I would be doing you a disservice if I didn't let you know about it. So simple as that. Right, let's look at a couple of problems. I've got some notes taken down here that I want to go through. Um, a couple of things have happened. And I shared this at a meeting slash mastermind that I had um, towards the end of the year. Everybody's an online coach nowadays. Online coaching has grown. And the reality is there's more competition. But at the same time, there's also a greater, greater acceptance of online coaching. So in many ways, the need for online coaching has gone up. There's been more competition. There's more PTs and coaches that are doing online coaching right now. And quite frankly, as a result of that, you may feel it's harder to navigate because there's more competition. But the reality is, as always, and you probably heard this in your PT days, that the cream always rises to the top. So like everybody used to be worried about like everyone and their mom was becoming a personal trainer. And uh, the reality is, the cream always rises to the top. So this is the year where if you're going to rise to the top, you've got to be delivering an exceptional service. And I wanted to share some key elements and key principles and thinking behind what you need to do in order to allow yourself to rise to the top. All right. And I think this is super important and super relevant. And I chat with a lot of you guys over Instagram. A lot of you share some of your big takeaways with me and you, you message me freely. And I actually love hearing from you. So please, if you get a big takeaway from this, like, like just drop me a message and just say, hey, Phil, uh, no agenda. Just wanted to share um, a big lesson from your show, podcast, YouTube, and it was this. Thank you so much for that, guys. That really makes my day, along with you guys also sharing lessons inside the reviews. Um, the more reviews I get, the more exposure the show gets, the more inspired I am to create it, the more inspired I am to bring in more people. And guys, you know, if you've been listening to my stuff, you've probably made uh, some decent progress, decent money, decent leverage with some of the stuff I've shared in your fitness business without even working with me. So uh, please, it's sort of like a two-way relationship. If I'm going to give some value to you, just a couple of seconds to even drop a comment or drop a review or share it on your Instagram goes a a really long way for me. All right. So let's look at the the opportunity here. Um, First things first. Um... Online coaching is more acceptable. Uh, A lot of older people now are doing stuff online. Beforehand, they wouldn't have looked at it. They would have turned the nose up to it. So online coaching is more viable. Uh, Secondly, people are buying like crazy because they're locked down. They're bored. I've shared this before. I don't know where you're listening to in the world, but we're still on lockdown um, inside Northern Ireland here. I know the UK is as well. And the reality is people are buying. They're bored. And I've said it in multiple episodes before, but like, really, what is there to do during a lockdown? It's like Netflix, eat crap food, or work on self. Um, You might be doing an old combination of all three, but reality is work on self is where you fit in as a coach. Um, So 
we're already like a few weeks into 2021 and we've already had clients that have hit 20K in revenue. We've already had clients that have surpassed 10K in revenue and started with us below five, quite simply because they're taking advantage of the new year, new me, and also the fact that, well, Netflix, crap food, and well, work on yourself. And they're really messaging and pushing that work on yourself element. And, you know, I think a big thing that you got to seed in with your audience is who do you want to become in 2021? And are you expressing those habits so far? Are you expressing the behaviors that are needed to create that? And it's the same goes for you as a fitness entrepreneur. If you want to become wealthier, if you want to grow, like what needs to happen inside, you know, in your life? What needs to happen inside your business? What are the key things that you need to do? And are you implementing those already? It's either a yes or it's a no. If it's a no, the chances of you succeeding at your goals are less. So you've just got to realize that. You've got to do the same thing with your audience. So a couple of things um, that really need to be dialed in here. Uh, Number one, uh, I know this sounds really simple, but getting really clear on who your niche is, that's the people you take from worst to first, who your audience is, that's the sort of demographic of where they live, sort of age group, um, you know, gender, and then your avatar, which is basically like your favorite clients, like the characters, if you can get really, really clear on who that is, your target market per se, that's what the branch term is, uh, the overall term, uh, target market. If you can get really clear on who they are, um, your message is going to be sharper. Now, I, I know that sounds like really basic stuff. One of the most simple things you've got to learn is who is your target market, your target customer. But it's typically the kind of thing that most fitness professionals touch on once and never look at again. You need to be looking at that every 90 days. You need to be evaluating your sales calls, looking at the challenges that were being said, look at the messages you're getting on Instagram and collate them all down and reinstate that and install that into your content um, so that your messaging is as specific and on point. A great way to do that is to go and interview your best clients and just go, hey, what was life like before? Um, Why did you want to work with me? What stood out about you? What have you tried before? Um, All of this kind of detail is going to be super important in allowing you to paint that picture to move forward. And I'm going to be really brutal with you guys here. When was the last time we did that? Probably can't remember. If you're one of these people that says, I can't remember, which is probably going to be about 90%, and you've got this ambition of building a six-figure, quarter of a million, half a million pound business, um, or euros or dollars, whatever it may be, and you're not doing that regularly, well, there's a massive disconnect there that I've just made you aware of. Right, It may sound like, why do I need to go to that basic stuff? Well, if you don't have the lead volume and the lead generation for that, then your messaging is probably a little bit off. If you're not getting clients, it's either because your messaging's off, your results are crap, or you're not being seen. And normally as a result of not being seen, it's because your messaging's off. If your messaging's on point, you've got to realize that you've got to constantly immerse yourself into audiences that have people that have the pain point that you solve simple as that right number two is having one core offer sounds really simple but it's very important uh when you're selling your services you do not want to have 101 different combinations you want one you don't want to have like a four week you don't want to have a six week you don't want to have a 12 week you want to have one core offer that's basically guaranteed to get a result uh, one of my colleagues in the industry phil learning used to say you don't sell the sessions you sell the solutions and you've got to look at it from that concept where, you know, your offer is selling the solution to the client's problem. It's not selling the logistics. The logistics is like how much experience you have, how long you've been in the industry for. And you're leading with all this like ego, bravado, volume, more stuff based approach. And you're also as well giving control to the client in terms of, hey, how long do you want to stay with me? Four weeks, six weeks, 12 weeks, eight weeks, nine weeks, seven days, three days. You're giving control to the client. The client needs to be told something that is easy to understand, that's easy to believe and easy to implement and covers everything. Hey, if you're going to like, for example, if I say to you, hey, as a fitness professional, you're going to come and work with me for 90 days. And inside that 90 days, we're going to double your revenue. We're also going to double your time off of the systems that we install. It's 90 days. Take it or leave it. So the same goes with your clients. Hey, um, in 90 days, here's what we're going to do with your physique. We're going to take it from here to here. Here's how it's delivered. You get a plan. We check in here. We do this. You get this kind of support. You get that kind of community. Are you in? Versus going to the client, hey, uh, if you want to work with me, do you want to work with me for uh, four weeks or do you want to work with me for nine weeks? Client doesn't know any different. Normally, client's going to go with a cheaper option because they, they're they just testing the ice. They don't have confidence in you because you don't have confidence in yourself because you're worried about expressing um the actual time that's required to do that, all right? Uh, three, 
uh, your energy is super important. Um, I think you got to realize that your vibe attracts your tribe. And if your energy is off, you're just not going to attract the right people. So if you want to rise to the top, your energy has got to be on point. I know people say it a lot, but show the real you. Just don't hold back. And you got to realize when you don't hold back and you show the real you on social media, there's authenticity there. When there's authenticity there and sort of like an attitude of uh, like, a, like a, I don't give a what people think of me kind of attitude, you're real, you're transparent, you can be your authentic self and that in turn is going to attract the right people. Whereas when you try to falsify who you are, you try to artificially inflate things, it doesn't feel authentic and it's not sustainable and you'll eventually like change characters. Uh, you, you, you know, you might be able to relate to this. If you're not authentic, you might have been like one way, one month and a different way another month. You're trying one tactic one month and another whatever. And also remember guys, entertainment is not a good business strategy, right? It's not about getting all the likes, it's not about people going, oh, that's so funny or whatever. It's about amalgamating a little element of entertainment in conjunction with serious life-changing value in your content and also ridiculous social proof that you can actually get the result. That's one of the strongest things that we have. Like our social proof is undeniable and that's why we get clients. So if I didn't have that social proof, I'd have to market more, market more and more. And it's the same with um, you guys. Uh, if you don't have good results, then you're gonna have to market more and you're gonna have to sell harder, which ultimately requires more energy. So you actually want your clients or your prospects to come and the market come to you pre-sold. Hey, I've seen your post, I've been following you for a while. Hey, I saw your result with blah, 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 I'm in, sign me up. And you just want that friction removed. Uh, four, stay heavily resourced. Uh, you know, look at your peer group right now. Look at the people that you're listening to on a daily basis. Um, look at the people that you're texting and communicating with. Are you surrounding yourself with the right people? I can tell you one thing, I'm constantly pushing our guys. They're with us to grow and that's my responsibility. That's my life's purpose. Have you got somebody in your corner that's life's purpose is to grow and stretch you? It's as simple as that, you either do or you don't. The chances of surviving and growing and thriving with somebody that's behind you, that's dedicated to pushing you and driving you is gonna be so much better. Again, just think about your clients. If your clients didn't have you as a coach, what would happen? They're less likely to win and they're more likely to fail, all right? Um, and number five, number five, and this is really important this year, is do not take the opinion of people to heart who are not in a position to share it, all right? If you listen to this podcast or this YouTube show or whatever, the chances are that you're an implementer, the chances are that you're a visionary, and the chances are that you want the best possible life for yourself and your family. And you're gonna meet other coaches, you're gonna meet family members that are gonna criticize you, that are gonna make snide remarks, that are gonna make jealous remarks, and they're just not gonna like your growth. They're not gonna like the person that you're becoming. Um, you know, I remember I went to um, a school party once with friends and um, we have a, like, a reunion every single year. And I remember one year, this was like maybe seven years ago. And one of the guys said to me, damn, you've changed. And I said, damn, you haven't. So, you gotta realize that as you grow, certain people will not like that change in you. And you're growing for the better good, not just for the people that you help, but also for yourself, because you're wiser, you're smarter. You know, you want to have money to be able to buy the things that you want. You want to have opportunity, you want to have freedom, et cetera, et cetera. Whereas some people who are locked inside a system can't see outside of it, i.e. a system is they're locked inside their dad's business, their parents' business, a nine to five, that they're brought up in so many beliefs and systems about you have to do this, you have to do that. And in many ways, they can't see beyond that and they can't see why you're doing it. And it's ultimately just a justification to make themselves feel better. So five really simple points that I hope just land perfectly at this time of year. Remember, we've got like 330 plus days left. Get after it, take action. And if you want our help and you want to join Authority Network, just simply drop me a DM on Instagram with AN or go to my website, click Business Authority Network, have a read, book in and speak with one of the team. All our team are coaches, so you get to speak with people that have been inside uh, the program, so you get proper experience to decide whether or not it's for you. So other than that, much love and Happy New Year.